Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at some information on the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Phares. This is a tribe that Mashiach came from. We're also going to take a look at a place that some of the members of this tribe were exiled to. Keep in mind the house of Judah is composed of three tribes. You have the tribe of Phares, which is the tribe again that Hamashiach came from. Phares is in the genealogy of Mashiach. Then you have the tribe of Seda. And last and certainly least, you have the tribe of Shela, which is a Canaanitish, Hamitic, Shemitic slash Japhetic tribe, the rejected tribe. Mentioned in the book of Micah as being a stumbling block to the house of Yasharel. All right, so here we're going to take a look at this word here, Sephirot, mentioned in Obadiah 120. It is said that this was the place of captivity of certain captives of Jerusalem. And here it says that the Targum of Jonathan identifies this place with Spain. Hmm. Strong's Hebrew says Sephirot is the location of some of the exiles of Jerusalem. All right. Moving on, online etymology dictionary, this is what it has to say concerning Sephirot. It says that this name here, Sephirot, is the name of a country mentioned only in Obadiah 120. Then down here it says that this place is identified by the Targum of Jonathan as modern day Spain. Back in the days it was called Tarshish. All right, so let's take a look at the Targum of Jonathan, the Targum of Ovidiah. And we're going to see if what we just read indeed is true or not. Okay, so here's that word, Hispania. Here they have it with an M instead of an N, Hispania. It says that the exes of Jerusalem that are in Hispania, see the slight difference there? So yeah, it looks legit to me. Hispania, Spain. Hispania, right? Again, here's the online etymology dictionary, and this is what it has to say concerning Spain. This is how the old English form was. Hispania. It's another way of writing Spain, just like we read it in the Targum of Jonathan, the Epistle of Ovidiah. Only here they have the N instead of the M. Hispania, Hispania, same thing. They just change one letter and remove the H, but it's basically the same thing. So yeah, it's legit. Now let's click on Spaniard and see what it says. Okay, so this word Spaniard is from Greek. It goes all the way back to the Greek. And it is Hispania, which means Spain, almost exactly the same as how you would write it today, Hispania. Next to it has the word Hispanos in reference to Hispanic people. So yeah, some Hispanic people have roots with Yasharel, the tribe of Judah, Pharis. Celt Iberian people. All right. Moving on. All right, and here's some information on the name, Hispanic name, 
Perez. In scripture it says that he was one of the sons of Judah. He was a twin son of Tamar who gave birth to Perez and Sera. Okay, here it says that when Tamar gives birth to Perez and his brother Sera, Sera is on the way out first, but Perez shoves them out of the way and becomes the firstborn. Hence, it is said of Perez, what a breach you have made for yourself. So technically, Sera came out first because he put his hand out first. But Perez pulled him back down, pulled him inside, and then he went out first. So he he made a breach by doing that. He wasn't supposed to do that. So technically, it was a violation. Hence, Perez breach. He went ahead of Sera. He wasn't supposed to do that, but he did. And then it says here that it says here that Perez, not his brother Sera, is the ancestor of Yesha, Mashiach. See that? Perez again is a Hispanic name. Many interpreters see a connection between Jacob and Esau who also swapped the coveted predicate of being firstborn. The name Perez appears in both genealogies of Mashiach. And it is spelled in Greek as Fares. Alright? Pretty interesting information, huh? So there's a little bit of some Jacob and Esau going on with uh, Perez and Sera. Not to that extreme like Jacob and Esau though, but yeah, there's some breaches being made by Perez, who wasn't supposed to be the firstborn, I guess. But yeah, that's a Hispanic name. All right. And it's even in the flag of Spain. There's proof that they were members of Judah there. Take a look at their flag. You have the lion, the crown, with the cross. Take a look at the design. It's some Hispanic people, their roots are in one of the tribes of Yashara, and in this case, the tribe of Judah, Pharez, the line or tribe that Mashiach came from. King David was also part of this tribe, the tribe of Pharez. Now we know that Spain was also colonized by the Romans, the Edomites. So you're going to have a mixture there. You have Hispanic people here in the Americas, the Caribbeans, Latin America, Central America, the States. You know, the tribe of Seta went north to England. You have the English flag with the hand indicating that that was Seta who pulled his hand out first, right? So yeah. Legit stuff. Now, there's some people that believe in this chart here. And I don't know who wrote this, but this chart is jacked up. It is inaccurate. The tribe of Judah is not composed of blacks, all blacks. Hell no. If you're going to look for any type of hermetic, Afroasiatic blood, and one of the tribes, you will need to look in the house of Joseph, which is composed of Ephraim and Manasseh. Ephraim is a kingly tribe of the ten lost tribes of Yasharel, which I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, King James was uh, an Israelite from Yasharel. He was in a light-skinned Ephraimite brother, you know, which I plan on making a video on in the future. So yeah, uh, this chart though, as far as ethnicity-wise, it's a little off. But ethnicity-wise, it's, it's got some things right. But all this, uh, it, all these little countries tied to these tribes, this is jacked up. It's inaccurate. So I don't know which idiot wrote this or put this, but I could assure you it's from Satan. This is not accurate. 
Anyways, I just wanted to show you that some information on the tribe of Perez, the tribe that Amashia came from, and some of the whereabouts that this tribe was exiled to, right? So that's all I got for this video, and I hope it was informative. And as always, be vigilant, stay blessed, and until next time, Shalom.